2018. A year dominated by first for the Royal Navy. First takeoffs, first dives, first deployments, first landings. There were landmark moments and crucial breakthroughs. The aircraft carrier gained their wings, Royal Marines marched in pride. Engines are switched on, ships were unveiled. First times in history. In a year of firsts, we didn't waste one second. We serve on the waves. We serve above the waves. We serve beneath the waves. We are stretcher bearers. We are chefs. We are engineers. We are gunners. We are photographers. We are leaders. We are sailors. We deploy for months on end. We are on the front line. We travel the world, we come home, we remember the fallen, we remain calm under pressure, we fight fires, we save lives, we help those in need, we get to fly and launch and drive this or this, we are inclusive, we are part of a team, we have fun, we run and fight, fly, sail, lead, save, love, fight, serve. We are women and we have served at sea in the Royal Navy for 30 years. Hello and welcome to HMS Protector, the Royal Navy's Ice Patrol Ship, a unique and amazing platform whose home is usually the frozen continent of Antarctica. We're currently here in Middlesbrough undergoing a period of maintenance so we can get back to carrying out our mission. Let's go and meet the specialist crew. Antarctica is the world's largest desert. It is wild, pristine and home to the most incredible wildlife. On board Protector we help resupply research stations, field monitoring sites and depots used by the British Antarctic Survey. We also inspect other nations facilities to make sure they comply with the Antarctic Treaty.
Our job is to safeguard British overseas territories in Antarctica and in the South Atlantic, to protect against illegal fishing activities and environmental harm. We can defend ourselves if need be. Welcome to HMS Protectors Bridge. This is where we steer and navigate the ship from. From here we have the best view. We can oversee safety of work on the main deck or moving heavy cargo or launching the sea boats. We carry cargo and containers in three giant holds. We also load up with fuel, equipment and spares for the journey. If they need it, the protector will get it there. Very little of Antarctica is surveyed. This makes it dangerous for ships to navigate in. Our hydrographers on board collect data to make new charts. We also have a survey motorboat which you can use to explore close to shore. This is the engine control room. From here, we can control our engines, ventilation, bulk fluids, and any other ship systems that we have on board. The ship sails over 16,000 miles to Antarctica and back. Our engineers keep the diesel engines turning, which keep the lights on and the ship moving, even through the ice. Because we're in a refit period, not all of our kit is on board at the moment. Some of it's shoreside. The Antarctic is that cold that we can only stay there for the summer months. The water temperature is about 2 degrees and will cause hypothermia in a minute. So we need to use special survival gear and special rescue boats to stay safe. I'm one of the ship's medics and because there's no hospitals where the ship goes, the sick bay has got to look after everyone. In our off watch, we relax and socialise in one of three messes on board. As we're in refit, the galleys have been used at the moment, but usually we'd serve 270 hot meals a day from here. Everyone shares the dining hall, and the scram we produce keeps morale high on ship. And I get to turn those calories into muscle. I keep us fit to fight, healthy body, healthy mind. OK, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour inside our fantastic ship and the opportunity to meet our wonderful crew. Now how about having a look at what it's like to live in and to work and explore in Antarctica. Sit back and enjoy the ride.
exercise, for exercise, for exercise. Smoke alarm, smoke alarm, smoke alarm. Smoke alarm in the forecastle. Due to watch to investigate. On any ship at sea, you may unfortunately have to react to an emergency, which may be a casualty, flood, or fire. Everyone is trained to react to this, from the commanding officer to the most junior able seaman on board. Every individual in the Royal Navy is trained to deal with these emergencies, through having conducted first aid training, or in the case of a fire or flood, a specialist sea survival course. Whilst all emergencies at sea require swift and decisive action, a fire on board can spread very quickly. All trainees are taught how to fight fires, from small dustbin fires to a full engine room fire. To keep this training at a high level, Every ship in the Royal Navy will routinely simulate fires on board. Everyone will practice wearing breathing apparatus and various other pieces of life-saving equipment so that we are always prepared to deal with any emergency. The carbonaceous fire has been discovered in the forecastle locker. The attack party are on the scene fighting the fire. The door to the compartment is open. Therefore, my command priority is to maintain a continued and aggressive attack.